Colonel Valleyman. Dear Mr. Glynn Hunter, your two names will do you no good to these days. <laughs> All the same, you have as much right as the next man, and I take note of your wants. Now, I take no deposits, but if you end up with what you want through my doing, I'll bill you well enough for my dues. You're a horsey man. You must know that outsiders seldom come up. And you're a 33 to one shot, if ever there was one. <laughs> yes, the bookmakers were caught before, and it is how like sure anything can happen. While there's life, there's hope. Now, there is another matter the delicate subject of the dick. The dick don't give the men of this world no rest. He's a monster. What lurks in wait from the first shave to the last. He's the world's greatest disturber. And I've seen sane men turned into idiots and wise men into fools by him. There is no connection between him and love. He stands for one thing. <laughs> that one thing only. And that's the flesh. Whether it is triggered off by the cocking of a leg, or the bulge of a breast, or the rustle of a skirt, or the whisper of a dropping knickers. <laughs> There's no trusting him. No taming him. Then they think they have him subdued as in for the biggest land at all. But well, there's no bull, nor no lion, nor no serpent, nor no shark, nor no one of God's creatures, one tenth as treacherous. I'll say no more to you now, my honorable man. And please God, the thing we were talking about won't be troublesome for you anymore. Courtesy and civility assured at all times. Your obedient servant, Dickie Mick, Dickie O'Connor. Dead man's lame, Valley Little. Dear Mr. O'Connor, I am a widow 